This week's episode is brought to you by Nixie and their Hyperion Pro Joy-Cons for Nintendo Switch. The Hyperion Pro is the best Joy-Con replacement we've tested to date. They look fantastic, they feel better than stock Joy-Cons, and the Hall Effect sticks ensure longevity of them will outlast Nintendo's offering, as well as other third-party brands that still suffer with the dreaded drift issues. The super comfortable and ergonomic grip allow for easy long-time gaming, the programmable RGB lights mean you can customise the controller to your particular taste, and the gamer's reflex macro buttons are available to give you an edge. Plus, the GameCube-inspired purple option and the green Legend of Zelda-inspired variant really make the controller stand out. All this, and using promo code PVP, you can get 10% off. Head over to nixiegame.com or use the link in the description. Hello, welcome to Podcast First Player, episode 285. I'm one of your hosts, Callum, as always. I'm joined by a man. You said 30 years ago we had Johnny Cash, Bob Hope, and Steve Jobs. Now we have no cash, no hope, and no jobs. Don't let Kevin Bacon die. <laughs> <laughs> it's only bloody Dan. Hello. Hello. How are you? Uh, that, what does that sound like a German thing? Like a German educational song? I wouldn't know. <laughs> did so you, it just flashed back from school. I was going to say, did you do German at school and there was maybe some yeah, kind of interactive video thing? Yeah, it was like one of those old school sort of like um, you know, the teacher would just put on a video and it's just uh, Germans doing basic German. Yeah. And one of the songs that they did, I'm sure, was Hallo, wie hast du Ich heise Oscar. <laughs> and then we'd go on to the next one. Um, was that actually German for Hello, How Are You, Oscar? No, um, that's... Um, uh, uh, I don't know any German, so you could say I anything. can't remember. <laughs> uh, but it's it's like how how are you? My name is Oscar. Oh, uh, and then it would yeah. Go around, uh, and and then no, oh, no. There's another line. It's like und wo ist das? And that like and who is that? And then it would go into like Lucy, and she'd do hers or whatever. I have I'll have like to that. I'll have to dig around on YouTube and see if there's if it's still out there because if it is, you can insert it. Here, and then file not found. <laughs> <laughs> no one obviously knows what this just, is. Yeah. Just the test card video. <laughs> <laughs> I I didn't do German at school, and the only things like that we had was in history, and I won't say his name for legal reasons, but because uh, he went to prison, not because of <laughs> naming people on the oh, podcast. Oh, you're going to say Hitler? No. Um, oh, right. But we he used to put uh, Monty Python on for us. <laughs> That's not why he went history. to jail. But <laughs> history of comedy. There was. Um, oh, I'll be honest because no listening. Or was it like? Oh, we're, we're, today we're talking about the Spanish Inquisition. And be like, da-da! Nah. nobody expects the Spanish Inquisition. <laughs> there was that was a much better segue than what he ever did. It was more uh, like do the register. He'd tell us a story about Big Dave, who I'm pretty sure was made up, and then the many ways he's tried to murder his wife over the many years they've been married. <laughs> And then Monty Python. <laughs> oh, maybe that's it. Maybe he's, he's trying to go for like I'm like Basil Fawlty. You know, I hate my wife. All, you know, but. <laughs> it was a great teacher. It was many years after I left school where it all went downhill for him. But yeah, all right, okay. Anyway, moving off from that, Dan. Do um, you want some stinking news? Sure. I, I think I'm pretty news free at the moment because um, I'm not aware of anything that I've seen sort of in passing that's annoyed me or. Excited me. Well, the first one is one that you texted me about earlier. Um, Suicide Squad <laughs> joining Prime oh, Day. Well, yeah, I know that one. Yeah, so, that's, that's yeah, why I started I with it. I told you about it. <laughs> sure, go on. But I figured it's good news to talk about. Um, Amazon Prime Day uh, officially held on the July 16th to the 17th. So one day, well, over two days. Um, and to celebrate Prime Gaming, he's given away 18 brand spanking, no, not brand new, 18 free PC games. Um, yeah. The lineup includes Hitman Absolution. Um, the uh, awesome beat em up uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge, which we actually talked about on the last video we did, Nickelodeon uh, All Stars. Yes, uh, which we may very well do with, because um, it's on Game Pass, isn't it? Yes, it is. It's also free through Prime if you want to keep it forever in case it gets taken off Game Pass. Um, That's true. Star Wars Knights Star Republic 2. Uh, Tear Stone. That's been going around for a while, though, to be fair. Yeah, had that on there I, 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 I think they've basically just. Like put a load of games that was already on there with th- these other games to make it seem like there's more. But it's still, if you've never played it, it's a fantastic game. 
uh, Tear Stone, t Thieves of the Heart, and the Invisible Hand. Um, two. Co now, I did text you earlier. How do you pronounce this? Is it Juarez? Call of Call of Juarez. Oh, Call of Juarez. Juarez, yeah. So there's two of those, um, and then there's, there's a few other games as well. Um, but you can also, from the 16th, download Suicide Squad, Kill the Justice League, and Chivalry 2 and Rise of the Tomb Raider 20-year celebration. Cool. Um, so, well, there's only a few of those that I think I'd actually be hmm. interested in, and I own them all, Yeah. with the exception of uh, Justice League. I, I'll be honest, when I went on, because I didn't read the thing, and I just went, oh, awesome, I'm going to download it right now. And then, obviously, it wasn't there. Um, but I downloaded, well, I added to my library Hitman Absolution because I had it for uh, PlayStation 3. And yep. I, don't, I don't have a PlayStation 3 anymore. Um, Ninja Turtles, just in case it does get taken off Game Pass. Um, I think that was it, to be honest. <laughs> Everything else yeah. I've either got or I don't care about. Uh, but Suicide Squad only came out a few months ago. Uh, 70, 70 pounds, Dan. Yeah. And I don't think it's there's a there's probably a reason that they're giving away for free over the course of a day or two. Um, yeah. They need people to start playing it, Callum. Wow, I'll be honest, Dan. Looking at looking at it uh, like in a very optimistic way, it's free, so it can I'll be play it, it, for it, free. It, it can be shit. I don't really care. Yeah, I'll, it's the same as Gotham Knights. I'll exactly what I was going to say, and we yeah. and we enjoyed it for what it was. Uh, yeah. For, for a free game, it's absolutely fine. Yeah. I'd be very annoyed if I paid 45 quid for it, however. Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, this should just remind me as well. I've got Midnight Suns the other day, and I haven't played yes, it yet. from Epic. Yeah, right. it was free on Epic. Yeah. Um, but I, I, I am meaning to play that, Dan. However, mm. these brand... I keep saying, going to say brand new. They're not. These completely free games... Mm. Um, take a little bit of fire away from Xbox, Dan. I don't know. As you said, you, you're a bit news free. You haven't seen it. Um, have you? Have you been made aware of Game Pass getting a price increase? Oh, I did see something actually about this. There was a thing that went around saying it. Did, it was kind of tying in with Black Ops Block Six um, drop in that they've gone. Probably going to be a bit more expensive now. Actually, it's and worse than that, Dan. A, it's going to capitalize on people the, getting Game Pass specifically for it. I. I I was fine with it. Like increase the price a little bit. I don't mind because everything everything's going up. I'm fucking used to that. I've already had. I think this is the third time Game Pass has in, like gone up since I've had it. Um, however, as well as the price increase, they've introduced a new tier. So obviously, before you had Game Pass and Game Pass Ultimate, and that was that. Sure. Uh, Microsoft has revealed some upcoming changes to Xbox Game Pass, including raising the price of several tiers. Um, the introduction of a new one and the closure of another. So starting July 10th... Uh -oh. mm. <laughs> <laughs> starting July 10th, Xbox Game Pass for consoles will not be available for new members. Um, those who are currently subscribed will be grandfathered into this tier with its existing access to day one releases, including first-party exclusives. Instead, new members will be able to access Game Pass Standard for $15 a month. We haven't got UK prices yet. Um, however... This will not include perks such as day one releases, <laughs> access to EA Play, Game Pass for PC, or cloud gaming. <laughs> so that, to me, seems to be really penalizing those with consoles. Yikes. Um, Game Pass Ultimate's offering will remain unchanged, but we'll be seeing a price increase from $17 to $20 per month. Um, <laughs> Xbox Game Pass Core is also getting a price increase with its annual charge of $60 to 75 However, the monthly price will remain $10. The price of PC Game Pass will increase from $10 a month to $12 a month, um, but will still have day one releases, which is the one we care about. Um, and then all of these prices, uh, price changes will take place starting on September 12th. Call of Duty Black Ops 6 is not a day one Game Pass re release for the new tier. So, the long and short of it, this doesn't affect me. No. Other than I've got to pay an extra two quid a month. Yeah. It's still reasonably priced. I still can't argue with the price, given what's coming with it. And I'm pretty sure that with the introduction of Blobs, it means that uh, I'm pretty sure I saw something else that's saying that the Modern Warfare, or at least Modern Warfare 3, was coming to Game Pass. I'm pretty sure it is, yeah. month or so. Um, which, I, I, I said this to you, I've said it before, 
if it starts to show up on there since the Activision purchase, I'll I'll play them. That's great. Um, if Bops is a, a day one release, I'll play the campaign. Mm. Sure, I'm sure it'll be fine. Um, but if it's 300 fucking gig like Warzone is, um, it ain't getting touched. No, I mean they did come out and say about the um, that was the the size of all of the uh, like Modern Warfare one two call it like Black Ops 1, whatever. I can't remember what the games it actually was. But they still didn't come out and go, this is the size. It's not 300 gig, it's this. So to me, that's still, it's it's going to be like 200 and something gig. <laughs> it's going to be Which close is, enough that they haven't... They, they, as long as they separate it out, I don't mind. Mm. If they say there's a single player install and there's a multiplayer install, and then combine its X amount and individually its X amount because then I can go cool. I just want to do the single player. I yeah. Want to do a Michael Bay film for a four four <laughs> hours. That will be all it is. Blow through that. Yeah. Cool. Uninstall. Yeah. Because the that that multiplayer it, it isn't for me, mate. No, it's, I, 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 I'm, I don't I'm want the to get same. involved in it. It's not for me. The, my biggest issue with the increase. Dan doesn't really bother me. I, I'll just be paying a little bit more. Uh, but I've got ultimate. But from my point of view, this seems to be like Xbox Go, well, Microsoft Go in. Don't bother with the other one. Just get ultimate. But if you haven't got yeah. a PC and you've only got an Xbox... It's kind what, of pushing you in one direction, isn't it? Yeah. And, and, it, and it's like... I know you get the same kind of perks and stuff. And I suppose if you looked at it from... Um, say if you got ultimate because you really wanted cloud. You wanted X cloud. Yeah. But you haven't got an Xbox. You're still you're still losing out on what you're paying for. Mm. And that's the Which same is why I haven't. Yeah. yeah. And, and and that's the same here where they'll go, Yeah, it doesn't matter if you haven't got a PC because you get you get day one releases and you, you can play it on your Xbox, but you can also do cloud gaming and go, Yeah, but I'm also paying for it for a PC that I don't fucking own. Yeah. <laughs> and and again it, it's the same either way around. And I know the majority of gamers these days do have one or both or whatever but realistically you've they've probably gone if they are console gamers the other thing they've got is a playstation or a switch mm. <laughs> otherwise they'd be playing on their x on the on the pc that's my point of view um but that's also the point of view of someone that doesn't really affect because i do have them all so it doesn't really i i feel i am getting my money's worth out of it even if they increase yeah. it but i don't like the the console game the uh, players are seemingly being penalized because they've chosen yeah. to do that but that, that could just be me like the the, the day one uh, things like not having access to the ea thing and potentially like the ubisoft thing as a result um like stripping those away to say you know we've got partnership deals and you yeah know, the cost that comes with that so if you want to go basic then you know you can have basic but then it means that you're going to get just what's on the store um, yeah. you, you know you, you get um, Game Pass, uh, no, sorry, uh, Xbox Arcade, uh, Xbox Live, sorry. Yeah. Um, but you know, you don't get your cloud gaming thing, you don't get the PC thing. It's just your console, and it's just Game Pass that's associated to it, and that's it. Um, that would be okay to pay a lesser price for if you go. Well, you know, the EA things I'm not super fussed about, or you know, I I don't need to play it on a PC. I don't want to have it on my phone as well. Yeah. But to take the day one releases away as well, that's sort of like, oh, that's a big incentive. That's a big part of Game Pass. Like, you know, the big latest salad. titles drop in. Bang, you get it straight away. And if people are watching the money, that could be enough for them to be like, oh, I won't pay for it at all then. I'll just wait. Because at some point, it's probably will make it, I assume it will make its way to the, the lower no, tier. No, I mean, that if, if they've been paying specifically for, you know, they get, well, they own all the Bethesda and now they've got Activision. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, so I won't pay for the service at all then. Yeah. Like if I can't if I can't get the benefit out of it, or I've got to wait three months before it drops on there anyway. What what's what's in it for me? I assume some people will will be thinking that, and it'll be the same on like on the Xbox showcases and stuff. Like it's a big deal when they'll, they'll show you this game, and then the end of the trailer is day one Game Pass. Like that's a big seller, and now it's going to be day one Game Pass if you've got this tier or this yeah, tier. Provide you pay for it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, and I mean. It might not affect a lot of people. Most people might just go, nah, I'll, I'll pay a bit more. It's still cheaper than buying a brand new game kind of it thing. It will be. And even for the people who are just getting it for like Black Ops, um, which don't get a whole subscription service. <laughs> like it, You wouldn't subscribe to Netflix 
to watch The Crown. I mean, I assume a lot of people would do, would do like a trial or something. Like, yeah, but Game Pass does a... Is it a week or is it a month? It depends when you get them. That like it used to be thirty days, used to be, but now I'm pretty sure it's only seven, fourteen yeah, at the most. I think it's, I think it's only seven. Yeah, um, that is enough to kind of get in and rinse one out. But if you're looking to be a hardcore blops player, yeah, online seven days isn't time to do anything. So you would need to commit. So either you get the subscription service and you ignore everything else that's on there, which seems pointless. Yeah, or you pay. $50, $70, whatever it is, and just get the game for the console. Do EA still do... No. Who publishes Battlefront, uh, Battlefield? Battlefield? Yeah. Um, that's... Um, it is EA, yeah. I thought, I'm sure it was EA. Yeah. Like, because they do the vault thing, don't they? Which is kind of like Game Pass, but it's just the EA stuff. Uh, and well, that's day pro. one. So there's... Uh, sorry, EA, EA Play... And then there's EA Play and EA Play Pro. And EA Play Pro is your, like, that's FIFA as it comes out. Um, yeah, yeah. It's all, basically everything that's within their library, The Sims, all that kind of stuff, outside of DLC, of course. Um, other things will be added to Pro. And if you've got Xbox Game Pass on PC, um, you get... On Xbox as well. Um, oh, as well. Yeah, yeah. cool. Um, you get Pro as part of that. Yeah. So you can get... Fallen Order, and you could get uh, Survivor. Jedi Survivor, sorry, yeah. yeah. But you're not going to get it day one. Like it'll be six months, it'll be a year before it's on pro, and then you can get it as part of it. Yeah, yeah. So stripping those things out, so you don't get the the later releases. I kind of get through these third parties, but yeah, like the 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 the, the day one releases. That's a big thing, and like again, watching that showcase, it's just like that's day one, that's day one, yeah. that's day one. You're like cool. I genuinely can't wait to play a lot of these. Yeah. They look kind of interesting. And I wouldn't want to be trying to pick and choose and go, oh, is it worth the extra cost if I can't, you know, if I'm kind of yeah. on the breadline, can't afford it. Um, which, which some so, people will be. Like, people, like yeah, you say, absolutely. will be watching what yeah. they're spending. And, and for as much as we love playing games, it's a luxury thing that you don't need. Of course it is. Yeah. And, and yeah. In, in this modern day, no matter what country you're from, like, we're all going through shit. <laughs> it's. That's Varying good. levels, obviously. Obviously, yeah, but I mean, I mean, in terms of if a household is looking at the expenditure, Netflix, Disney Plus, Xbox Game Pass, PlayStation Plus, they're the first things that will go. Yeah, you you have one of those. You yeah, don't have all of yeah. those. Which I'd arguably say, uh, we did talk about it a, a few episodes ago, but um, Sony had put in. Well, there was rumors of Sony putting in a bid to buy Paramount. And they would own Paramount, Nickelodeon, etc., like everything. And one of the rumors was that it's because Sony are going to make their own streaming service. They'll have all the Sony stuff, all the Paramount stuff, all the Nickelodeon stuff, all in one place. Sure. And we discussed them if they did a similar. Um, they've already got their game streaming service where you can stream PS. I think it is one through to five, I think, but I could be yeah. wrong there. Now, if they put that with that service, you can watch TV shows, you can watch movies, you can play games. You don't need a PlayStation per se, similar to how Xbox have done it with the Amazon Fire Sticks. Yeah. yeah. That would be the service I'd subscribe. If I could only have one, it would be yeah. that service. That is extra bonus stuff. Yeah. Um, but Microsoft has obviously moved away, or Xbox should say has moved away from, you know, it's all of your content all in one. It's all your movies and all your, like they've just gone, that didn't work, and it was costing us a fortune, presumably in like sports licensing fees. And yeah, that kind of shit. yeah. So they've just gone. We're a gaming company. Let's just focus on that, and then they pull this out of their ass. Yeah, and kind of nailed it. And um, pricing is like, and Netflix has gone up, and I watch not a huge amount of what's on Netflix. There's only a small amount of it, obviously, that I watch, as most people will probably do as yeah. well. You know. No one's trying you watch to the same Netflix. four things over and over again. Like, Pretty the, much, I the mean, Office as as, and Parks and Recs and stuff. Yeah, as long as Star Trek is on there, I have no reason <laughs> to not have it. Yeah, um, but obviously that is all Paramount owned content at the yeah. end of the day. Um, and if that was to be removed off there and then went to some sort of Sony Paramount thing, because like they obviously they're trying to get me to pay for Paramount Plus so I can watch Strange New Worlds and all the lower decks, yeah. and whatever. Um, 
But it seems so splintered because, like, Prodigy, like the new season of Prodigy, is on Netflix. That's Netflix. And <laughs> yeah. But I'm pretty sure that's not as it was released. I'm I'm sure there was a still a delay it, between that coming out and coming out on Netflix. I'll be honest. I and I, again, I could be wrong here, but I did. I used um, a. I think it was 30 days. I can't remember now. But I did a trial for Paramount Plus, so me and Logan could watch Knuckles um, mm. when I was on a couple of months ago. And while I had it, I was like, I'll just, I'm going to watch some stuff. So I caught up on Lower Decks um, yep. that I was behind on. I don't remember seeing Prodigy at all on there. See, that's what I don't understand. So Prodigy, if, if that's just, let's say it's just Netflix exclusive, which it probably won't be, but, you know, they've got some sort of exclusivity deal, whatever. Yeah. Um, Prodigy's on there. Lower Decks, some of Lower Decks is on Amazon Prime. Yeah like the first two seasons or three seasons are, but not the newest ones. Yeah, I think three and four are. I think they are, but you have to pay yeah. for them. Um, Discovery was removed from Netflix altogether, and that was on the day released uh, on Netflix, or it was the day after CBS, I think. Um, and uh, Picard is all on Amazon Prime. Prime. And Strange New Worlds is locked to Paramount+, Plus, <laughs> and now yeah. Discovery is locked to Paramount+. It's like, pick, pick a lane! But do it, them on all of them or do them on one of them. Yeah. Why have I got to have three subscription services to watch? This is the sort of shit that encourages piracy. It, it, People are like, oh, I'm yeah. not going to spend $60 a month on various streaming things just so I can watch various bits of the franchises that I like from all yeah. these different ones. I'll fucking nick it <laughs> because then it's free and no one's going to knock on the door because who in their right mind would be able to police who's accessing a streaming site when they go up like that yeah. and when they get taken down Another one's up the next day. To a different makes, one. It makes absolutely not, no difference. Not that we know anything about that. But Let's the, just say we don't condone it. <laughs> but the thing is, it's true. And we are heading into, as a, as a, like a, a media society, we're heading into cable. This is what cable was. Where it was it, packages it, on packages on packages. Yeah. And that's 100% what's happening now with, with the streaming service. I watched a, um, a there's a guy on YouTube um, that watched... Um, Mr. Who's the Boss, I think his name is. And he does a lot of cool, like, it's mostly tech stuff. But he, he also does a lot of things to do with daily life. So these, I've bought these technolo- technology items and they help me with my productivity or with my shopping or keeping an eye on expenses or whatever. Anyway, he did a thing and he, he looked at all his, um, the stuff he's subscribed to. And every month it was like $1,800 a month just on subscriptions. Like, so that's like... Oh, like Netflix, Disney Plus and everything, Spotify or, or Apple Music, whichever one it is, and this subscription service and this subscription service. Like yeah. That's a lot of fucking money. But the more yeah. I thought about it, I was like, I'm not that close, but I'm way more than I thought I was with subscription Probably services. So. Yeah, I, they, it, I think it's because it's, it's like, oh, Spotify, it's like a tenner a month and you go for all the music that's on there. Mm. That's not a bad, as a consumer, that's not a bad thing. And then they go and put their price up a little bit. And you go, well, I've got Netflix because it's Netflix and there's a lot of things that I do watch and there's a lot of things that I want to watch that's all on Netflix as well as the shows and the movies that are exclusive for them. Um, And then they go and put their prices up and then Amazon Prime, you go, well, it's more than just the three shows that I'll ever watch on Amazon Prime. It's it's all the shopping stuff and it's the deals that you can get and the the quantity that you can get. And then they go and put their prices up and then I've got Xbox. And it's just sort of like, yeah, when you sit down and kind of specify them and you're like, huh, there's like there's like eight different things that I'm subscribed to, <laughs> yeah. and I'm watching like the tiniest or using the tiniest percent of the media that's within it. Yeah. So yeah, maybe you're right. Maybe I should fuck it all off and steal it off the internet. You're probably right. <laughs> that's not what I'm saying. But oh right, okay, the, sorry. The the only thing that while you was while you was on about it, I was like, oh, I've, I have actually done a good thing money wise, and couple, well, about two years ago with my phone, um, I, was, I was just looking through my contract, and I was like. I can get Apple Music for free, which is cheaper than paying for Spotify. <laughs> so I'll do that. So fucked Spotify off and then went to, to Apple Music, even though I'm very anti-Apple. But it's free, so <laughs> I don't care. However, yeah. that, that's, I think that's ten ninety nine a month for Apple Apple Music. But for all of the price increases across the board, I'm just paying what, what I would have been paying anyway. Yeah, exactly. So I haven't actually saved any money now. <laughs> and Amazon Music is a part of Amazon Prime. There's nothing on it. You, no, there isn't. Because if you want the full library, 
we well, got to pay extra for that. My the, the perfect example of uh, Amazon Music is my my friend hasn't he hasn't got like Apple Music or Spotify and he uses Amazon Prime Music. And I was like, I guess how do you how do you use it? Because I tried it, but it was, unless you pay, you don't get nothing. And he goes, it's great. If you want to listen to like the live versions of a song or a cover <laughs> of a song, or three three songs from an album, but not the popular ones. <laughs> yeah, but even mine now, I I don't remember doing it, but I obviously somehow linked it. But when I ask Amazon Lady, go play X song from X album, she'll go playing whatever from Apple Music, and she plays it through that. So I've obviously linked it somewhere down the line. Yeah. So yeah. which is handy. Um, speaking of though, Dan. Um, Prime Day is coming up. It is, as we've said. I and I don't know if you're a big fan of Prime Day, but there's, there's normally some um, some interesting things going on. Yes, um, I don't. It's not like a Black Friday, you know, tripping over each other at the supermarket, kind of, you know, trying to steal those sweet deals. Because I think most people have cottoned on over the last sort of ten years or so that a lot of these things they they, they hike the price up to reduce them. <laughs> to Later basically on. what it was before yeah um and that's that's been part of the course of retail for a very long time oh yeah long before the prime day yeah um, um that being said there are certain things that i do see like some of the like uh, the lightning deals that have got like additional stuff off on yeah. black friday or some of like the amazon products that they're trying to flog like an echo or something like that which i would get if i didn't have like a home home. Home. yeah exactly there's, there's no there's no point for me um but you know usually electronics like you know a new electric toothbrush a new electric yeah. razor something like that which is usually like you know you're looking at 100 quid or so which i kind of resent so i just go i fucking shave <laughs> yeah because she's a big <laughs> yeah you know a, a broken bottle or something rather than spend that um and then whilst the 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 price discount that they're trying to sell me on is um not quite as as impressive as it would have been um even if you can get 20, 30 quid off it, yeah. it makes those kinds of items a little bit more attractive. So I will be having a look. Mm. Um, I don't really know if there's anything in particular that I'm after, if I'm honest. Um, maybe some, some new earphones, because the, the Sony ones that I've got at the moment, they don't really seem to be holding their charge particularly well anymore. I've had them for a few years um, now, though. Yeah, I have. Um, and they, they are still very good. Mm. Like, they work fine. It's just that, you know, I've watched two episodes of Family Guy at work, and it's like, ding! Please recharge headset. I'm just like, what? I mean, the thing is that it does that when it's at about seventy percent. So it's not as if they're lasting twenty minutes and they're yeah, dying. Yeah. But they're sure shit aren't lasting as long as they used to. I think. I mean, that's so, part of the course, especially as it is the the, the, the earbuds and stuff. They're charging all the time in the case, so it's going exactly. to de- de- degrade the battery over over time. Qu- probably quicker than like a mobile phone or or, yeah. or something. Well, I did buy. Like, I think the last thing I probably bought. If I, it might have actually been through like a, a either a Black Friday or a Cyber mm. Monday or something like that. Um, was uh, an Oral B thing, and it was like, oh, you know, Bluetooth into your phone stuff. So I was like, oh, okay, that's actually quite good because I can see how long should I be brushing for? Am yeah. I using it too long, too hard in the wrong place, too long or whatever? That's quite cool. Um, yeah. Um, so bought that, and then it, it it came, and the Bluetooth option isn't available in the UK. <laughs> so I was like, for God's sake. Um, and then the it was either the charger or the wire or something, but it was it wasn't charging anymore after that. Um, and then if you go on the uh, the Orbi website, um, it says like, oh, you know, if you're having charger problems, enter the serial number or the model number here, um, presumably to see if it's like you know, okay, well, with that model we don't support that anymore, yeah. or you know, tough tits, whatever. Uh, and they they never even got back to me. That was a year up. ago. So I, I'm assuming that. <laughs> Tough is the answer for me. I, th- I thought you were going to come back and say, um, went on the Orbi website and like charging isn't available in the UK. <laughs> <laughs> you get one charge, that's, that's it. it. It's, a, it's a one and done. Yeah. Um, um, anything that you're going to be on the lookout for, do you reckon? Nothing that I'm on the lookout for. I was a bit annoyed. I bought Logan for Christmas. He had a... Um... You bought Logan for Christmas? Yeah, it, did. it was a bargain. <laughs> no way. But for for Christmas, I got him um, one of the Echo Pops, which was the newest one at the time. I don't know what that is, but sure. It's it's a, an Amazon lady, but yeah, it's like the more it's just a round speaker. So it's like a dot, but instead of it being a little puck, it's more of a speaker that stands up. And th- within Amazon uh, uh, 
Prime Day. They're doing this. It's exactly the same one, but the circle's halved, and then it's got a screen on it, so you can use it as a clock and stuff. And it's cheaper than the one that I fucking got for Christmas. Like, well, that's actually really annoying. Really, no- so I might, I might get one, but give it him for Christmas, right? Rather than his birthday. Uh, but I'll have a look at that. But I'm just looking now. Um, I think cat things might be uh, I, like I, if I can get yes, cat food, that yes. kind of stuff. Because I was looking at, so I, I'm got a, a plan, and like my vets is at Pets at Home, which is a UK based um, pet franchise store mm. thing. Um, and they have a, a really good sort of like VIP club, but it's, it's like a loyalty thing. It's like an app that you get on your phone. Yeah. It's got discounts and stuff, but they keep on just adding random vouchers and things like that to your account, but they're all relevant to you and your type of pet. So like, they're very specific as well. So it's like, and they last for ages and they stack. Oh, so, so if you add one for, like I don't know, but some kind of healthy treat... And you had another one for the healthy tree. You could have instead of having three pound off, you get six pound off. Correct. Ah, oh, that's brilliant. That's really good. Yeah. So there's um, and they last for months as well, and it's not a one-time use mm. thing either. So like, there's a ten percent new customer, like for being a new customer signing yeah. up with them, ten percent that lasts for about three months. Um, so that's ten percent off the bill. Every, everything. Yeah, right out the gate. Then there's ten percent off like your kitten's first purchases. So again, it's like twenty percent off basically because that mm-hmm. that's not sp- specific on anything. Yeah. And then there was twenty percent off selected uh, wet food, and then like in the terms and conditions, like right, these are the brands, this is the exact product that you yeah. get twenty percent off. Then you get twenty percent off with the other two vouchers on it as well. Good deal. And then they added another one on there for like fifty percent off cat litter. So I'm like, <laughs> how are you people making money? This is insane. <laughs> Um, so like that's that's great and I think it does I, annoyingly though um, Amazon does have like this big box of uh, like whiskers kitten like junior yeah. food and there's 84 pouches in there and it's 23 Damn. quid that's pretty good they can't beat that no, like me. one they don't even <laughs> sell a box that sells that many of them um, <laughs> but I think like unless I think if you went in and bought there's, there's one for 40 which is about 17 quid I think so right. if you went in and bought or maybe 13, sorry. But I think if you got them together, like got 80 with the discounts and stuff, yeah, it probably would actually work out too. But then I've got to carry it all the way fucking back. You've got to carry it back. it's going to cost me 15 quid to get there and back as well. How long does cat sorry. food last? Because there's got to be like a sell-by date on it, haven't they? Were you asking Beckett? <laughs> no, she's just... Oh, she's there. She's in the wardrobe, you daft twat. What are you doing? <laughs> Um, just trying not to see what I'm going to wear tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think she. Uh, sorry, I think there's. It, it lasts a while, but it's. It is nearly gone, no. and I got that before I got her. Um, so that's what six weeks or so. That's eighty four. That's lasted. Yeah. So that's not bad news. Again, it's about twenty four quid. I think when I bought it. So it's it it, it is good value, frankly. Mm. So what I'm doing is I'm using the vouchers for more like the fancy stuff. So like I've got two boxes of stuff that had like twenty percent off. For like specific ones, and it's like ones for like specifically for like uh, diet and coats and stuff like yeah. that. Um, so she's got like for when she's been extra good, um, <laughs> she's got like these like premium. It's like it's like twelve quid for six. Fucking hell! Like it's 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 like oh it's it's almost. I think one of them is like a pate kind of thing. It's just like Jeez. salmon, chicken, beef, and I'm pretty sure it's like you probably wouldn't do great with it, but you could eat it. I mean, like it's it's I it's think just meat and jelly is what it is. Yeah, I mean, like you always see it in like the TV shows where like it's like post apocalyptic and they find a, a a tin of cat food or something they'll eat it. And I I, don't, I hope I'm never in a situation like this. But if I had to eat dog food or cat food, I think I'd choose cat food. I, just, now that I've seen what's in the ingredients, yeah. I completely agree. But I also I hate fish, so any if any of got fish, I'll die. <laughs> I ain't eating it. <laughs> but cat food tends to look more. It it looks more like human food than dog food. Like dog food this looks one, like tripe. <laughs> this one does. It's kind of. It's like almost like um. You know that like sandwich spread that like you, you see it in like tiny little glass jars. Yeah. Like a, yeah. 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 Like a meat spread that you can like spread onto toast or whatever. 
it looks very much like that. And I, I just think if them. I was to serve it to you on a piece <laughs> of toast, I think you'd be like, I don't like meat spread. Is this all right? <laughs> like, I, I don't think you'd be like, oh my God, that's not human food. I think you'd just be like, oh, so that seems a bit off with this. Yeah. So there's got to be and something for, in it that would give it away, haven't they? I, I don't know. I, honestly, I don't. Try I, some. It, it, <laughs> Get back to us. No. No, I don't want to. Um, but, like, so trying l- looking at, like, the Black Friday, uh, sorry, the um, Amazon Day deals for, like, yes. cat food, main. Maybe if if like a box like that is like you know oh fuck it it's an extra ten percent off yeah I'll probably get two because they'll last ages you know but if there's like some some cool toys or some like robot things that sort of zip about and she can chase forever so that ball yeah, was on get... about that you turn it on and it goes woo, woo, and then rolls around on its own I know but she's got a habit of just pushing things under uh, something she immediately can't get them out of <laughs> so she'll get a ball she'll run around with it pat 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 knock it under the bedroom uh, like side table or whatever and just sit there going like <sighs> I wish I still had that ball <laughs> yeah and she like but then she she, she doesn't like try and get my attention to be like can you do me a favour and get this out she just I'll, I'll if I see it go under I'll knock it back out yeah. and she knocks it immediately back under again because <laughs> that's the new game now you've started it <laughs> no no we kick the shit out of each other that's the what, new game why don't you get her a yo-yo and just tie it to her wrist <laughs> No, I think what you mean is like one of those, like, um, it's like one of the, you know, like you're going to stake a dog in the garden, but it's like attached to the ceiling. It's <laughs> yeah. a piece of elastic, and she sort of runs off and then boing, 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 like, like, springs her across like the room. Like total yeah. wipeout thing. It's like we have to, they have to try and get it <laughs> forward. <laughs> yeah, it's like when people are like tied to a big piece of elastic and have to run down a big yeah, yeah. inflatable course and then get whipped back. Speaking of, though, I, I, I'm going to run through this list that I've got, but... Um, Logan's friend had a birthday party. The other week. I had to go to the fucking market trading for it. Fucking miles away. Anyway, it was a swimming bass, but they put on like a Ninja Warrior co- like inflatable course in the swimming pool. It was so Sweet. cool. It was really good. Yeah, I didn't get good, to yeah. go on it, but it was fun. You just shoveled the kids them. aside. Like, Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I'd done. But um, we, went, we went in the changing rooms and um, the, the like the cubicles lay, like, lay down. Lay down. Lay out. And um, the door wouldn't lock. So I said, like, I said, just get undressed and into the show so if I just stand outside the door just so nobody like barges in come out and I closed the door at the top because there's no handle and just did that and turned around there was a bloke there just dropped his trousers completely <laughs> like fucking cock out everything I'm like alright <laughs> okay <laughs> was he making eye contact when he was doing this as well no he was talking to his lad <laughs> like, he was just chatting away I was like Callum, there's, nothing, there's nothing to be embarrassed about with the human body it's alright I don't mind but just don't I, point and go <laughs> I mean to be fair if it was if if I was him I wouldn't have been doing it in public because but you know oh, well. <laughs> like, well, we it, all know about that though, it we? was nothing to shout over anyway <laughs> nudity aside Dan um, a couple oh, of God. oh my you alright <laughs> ninjas <laughs> A yeah. um, couple of things um, showing up on the uh, Fire thing. So you can get a... Uh, these are all Amazon products. So you can get a Fire TV Stick 4K Max, which is $60, down to 35 hell, And I assume bad. when it comes to the 16th and 17th, these will all be cheaper as well. This is what you can currently buy today. Um, uh, 4K Stick, not Max, $25. Stick light, $15. TV Cube, uh, $100. A Fire TV soundbar, which I'm not familiar with, um, is $90, down from $120. A Fire TV for series, 55-inch 4K UHD smart TV, down from $520 to $330. But a big steal, Dan, is the Toshiba 75-inch 4K UHD smart Fire TV, uh, down from $750 to $450. £300 saving, Dan. I'll tell you what, Callum, some people, you know, when they're, they're talking about promotions and products and things like that, they want to talk of local businesses, they want to talk of startups and things like mm. that and kind of get them, um, like, free advertising and stuff like that on their various podcasts and bits and pieces. Not us, though. We want to talk about the biggest company that's ever existed. Yeah. Um, we want to promote their things. <laughs> I mean, to be fair. cheaply made, slave laboured, um, electronic devices all imported for <laughs> terrible, terrible prices and from terrible conditions. That last one was a Toshiba product, so. <laughs> and they need all the help they can get. 
<laughs> I'll tell you what, if they do a monitor that's 75 inches, it's 450 quid, I'll fucking buy that. I mean, you could use that as a monitor. That would be the size of my wall. I'd have to sit in the next door. That's, not, that's to... not what you were saying. No, the refresh rate's only 60 hertz anyway. Oh, boo. Terrible. Right, but boo. Fuck, fuck that off. Um, oh, you can get some Echo Buds, Dan. No. You said you need some new headphones, Echo Buds. No, I, I didn't say I needed them. I said <laughs> we're getting towards the point of needing them. Um, everything Plus, else is I just like doorbells these, and stuff. I like stuff. these Sonys, to be fair. I think, if anything, when these go, I'd be getting the model up from these, I reckon. Because I've had I've these for about two or three years. always said you can, you can bash PlayStation if you're an Xbox fan, You can, whatever. Sony no audio. They yeah. know how to make a good product. Same as cameras. Ca- cameras and uh, I mean to be fair, my new camera. I'm going Lumix, but that's for different reasons. But I love this is a this is a Sony A5100. I fucking love this camera. Mm. Um, I love Sony phones because it uses the new um, the new. I'd say the last two years, maybe three. The the camera uses the same camera sensor as the A series cameras, mm. so they're very good. But yeah. the phones are wank. <laughs> so it's like, do you want a cheap A-series camera? You go, cool. How much is that cheap camera? And you go, it's 1,200 quid. You go, nah, I'll just buy the camera. <laughs> it's like 200 quid more. <laughs> yeah. I'll just do that. Um, but t- TVs, they make excellent TVs. They make excellent uh, like speakers, headphones, he- earbuds, the like. Um, so, yeah, I personally would. Unless... You know, you were. That's a point, actually. Yeah, I'll, I'll keep an. I'll make sure to keep an eye out for some uh, Sony Sony buds. Uh, if you see any flying about, yeah. then yeah, by all means. Check I, I always um, look. Always like because I, I always want to go. Oh, I'm going to buy a Ninja Air Fryer. I'm going to get one this year. Ooh, and then I tell you what, that's a good shout. Some decent, like, or some like fancy kitchen equipment, maybe yeah. like a couple of like a machine to do a thing or. You know, I don't need pans. A robot anything, made, but, <laughs> but like an air fryer that's just like sometimes I, you know, I like to cook. I'm really getting into cooking at the moment. Um, but something like that when it's just like after a big day at work, I'm just like I just want to yeah. put a chicken in this bit and vegetables in this bit and a bit of potato in this bit and shut it and just leave it on a plate and games for a bit and then come back and my dinner is ready. Yeah, I don't have to micromanage anything. I don't have to do any of that. If there is a, I'll say it a stupendous price. <laughs> For something like that, yeah, Cal, I'd probably take the fucking hit. I'd reckon I'd go for it. I reckon. I mean, I mean, to be fair, it's only a one tray one though. But the Ninja Air Fryer is currently down from one hundred and twenty. Why is it showing me in America? Anyway, we'll just go off this. Uh, one hundred and twenty dollars down to ninety. But it's only That's it's, not it's, it's a, no no no. But it's only a single tray one anyway. I want a double one. Mm. Yeah, multiple options. Yeah. Like, yeah, different cooking times or whatever. Um, but it's good to see that the Ninja products are included in the uh, in the Prime Day stuff. The thing is, though, I'm not I'm not brand loyal. Um, I wouldn't want something because it is a specific brand. I just want something that can do the job, and I, that doesn't necessarily mean it has to be a Ninja. For for me personally, I've had like three air fryers. I've had a, a reasonably expensive one, and then two reasonably cheap ones, and they've all been as good as each other, but. Uh, my fr- my friend's got a ninja one and it's fuck it's so much like it's one of those products where you go uh, i mean that one's 100 pound and that one's 150 i will pay the extra 50 like the yeah. f- the food was that good from it annoyingly like a dyson's like that yeah. like i've used a lot of different bagless vacuum cleaners but yeah a dyson still kind of shits we- over all of them uh, i mean there's a reason that they're so fucking expensive but i, I mean i i'm i'm a person that's known for shouting a lot at zoe when it comes to buying a new hoover because i'll get a fucking notification from the bank just going do you know your missus just spent fucking like 900 <laughs> quid on a hoover and i go what the fuck <laughs> like, but uh i mean we, we've had it a, a little bit now but um the our hoover that we have at the moment i can't remember the model but it's the one it's got a screen on it and it tells you like all the debris and all the fucking what it's sucking up and everything else and it's got a light on it. It's like this green light, so you can see like it's really good for pets. So you can see like really fine well, hair and I stuff. I bought a um, like a hand mm. 
Hoover thing that has a light on it, and that's handy for like picking up. But I just yeah. use that for sort of like after I clean the litter tray, I'm just sort of like zipping around it. But I've used it for like cleaning the like the keyboards and like you know, or for just around the edge of the sofa quickly, like just stuff like that. Just woo, done. Yeah. It, yeah. It's dead handy, right? You know, there's no there's like a million wires. What? Tell you what, I do need an iron, a new iron. Um, there's no way that there won't be an iron that's a part of that deal. Yeah, but what? What's an iron like? You could just go like a Tesco one. I don't want a, just a Tesco one. <laughs> I want to be able to do my shirts properly and efficiently. I probably do ironing board at the same time. Um, at the moment, there's nothing showing. Again, they might not be just yet, but I mean, there's some funky looking ones. Yeah. Um, I'm surprised that, like, you know, like when like Christmas rolls around and things like that, and workplaces you to pay people a bit earlier so that they can get any last minute bits in for Christmas. I'm surprised that with something like Amazon Day because it's almost like a worldwide holiday at this point. Um, it is. Don't go. Does everyone want to get paid two weeks early to capitalize on Amazon <laughs> Prime Day? <laughs> to be to be fair, it's been nice, like last year and this year that in a position where it's like, I don't really, it doesn't matter if I've been paid or not kind of thing, because every single year prime day was always like the week before I got paid always. And it was like, man, I would have probably bought that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's been all right. Like, I mean, last year I bought a few things last year and basically the same as what I said uh, earlier on, where I'll buy it and just put it away for Christmas kind of yeah. thing. Um, but, you also run that risk of you can get it now on Prime Day, or you can wait a few months and it's Black Friday, which is yeah. going to be the cheaper deal. Um, typically, I'll, I'll, I'll stand by. I, I've been a a big like pusher for if you want to buy a TV, don't wait for stuff like this because, like, like you said previously, they, they will mark it up to the recommended retail price, which it never sells at normally. And then when it when they do drop it in the sale you go i'm saving 700 pound no you're not you, you might save 100 it's about 200 pound. Yeah. yeah if you're lucky yeah but the the amazon stuff is th- th- they can afford to lose a bit of money so like you any of your fire stuff you probably yeah probably buy buy one up because it's probably worthwhile i got um not this one this is the 10 inch one we've got the five inch one in the uh, kitchen the um echo show with like what are the screens and i think that was 90 pound anyway and i'd had it in my basket for ages and then on prime day i think i got it for like 35 pound or something like that see that kind of a markdown you can't sniff at that that's what i mean yeah but it's because it's amazons they could maybe like if because i've had this same webcam for like god knows how fucking long and it's just some Ten quid piece of shit that I got from Amazon, I think, because I've never really been like you need the camera for other bits and pieces that you do and reviews and that kind of stuff. So you need something good quality. I don't know. No wants to see my face in uh, super <laughs> I HD. I do. <laughs> you can see it enough in life. Um, but you know, if this again, if there's like you know sixty percent off a decent webcam, yeah, fuck it, why not? Like again, well, the odds of me seeing something like that again are going to be pretty slim. That's the that's the biggest problem. Like that's a really good point where you, they could go. Here's an Elgato face cam, which is a fantastic webcam it's never going to replace something like like this or anything but again if it's someone like uh, i don't want to say it the way i do because it makes it sound shitty but i'm just saying what you said there's someone like you that is only using it for podcast and <laughs> the, the odd gameplay kind of thing it's a wow. it's fantastic no it's because it's a million times better than what you've currently got oh 100 yeah, 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 yeah but it's also like 200 pound and i and i feel for 200 pound you could get the probably not second hand, but you could get a used uh, mirrorless camera for that kind of money. Um, but if they, if on Prime Day or Black Friday, you, you can get an Elgato face cam for eighty quid, I probably, I'd probably buy one myself. Just yeah, as a, it, it, you'd be silly not to. Yeah. Um, something like um, if they got any Western Digital uh, hard drives Ooh, on sale, hard drive, yeah. Got, um, maybe I, I ideally I want because I you know the the Western Digital external was it two terabyte was it five terabyte I think it's five terabyte wasn't it the the Western Digital one I got I'm pretty sure it's five I, I I'm not sure if it, I think you wanted to get the five I don't think you did I could be wrong it's, I could be wrong there it is no it is the five oh, yeah there we go um, 
So there's only 1.35 terabytes of that free. Yikes. You need another um, one, Dan. <laughs> well, I installed Warzone and Black Ops. So what do you expect? Um, some storage back. If, <laughs> I don't know, but like if there's some DDR5 RAM going that's, you know, that's got some decent price, because I've only got, I've got 32 gig, but it's DDR4. Mm. Um, so like, you know, even getting like 16 of DDR5 would be a step up. Um, an internal SSD with reasonable storage space um, or an M.2 with reasonable storage space. If there was a good discount on that, yeah. I'd, I'd snap that up because I could have another M.2 in there because I think I've only got like, it's like half a terabyte. It's on the yeah uh, the M.2. And then like, um, no, so I think I think the M.2 was a, was it a terabyte? I think it was because then there was um, an, yeah, so it was a terabyte M.2. And then it was a, oh, it was a terabyte um, HDD, I think it is was the, the second <clears throat> D drive. Yeah, yeah. But then there's one, two, three, four other drives that I've got, which are between half one and, well, sorry, between half and two terabytes, not including the Western Digital one. Yeah, obviously. yeah. Um, and ideally, I'd want to, comp- if I could, if I'd got another Western Digital five terabyte, four of those could go in the bin. <laughs> yeah. Because the, the Western Digital one is really good. Um it's far more hardy than the other ones. It's actually going to last. Um, but that plus an M.2 plus a bit of RAM. Sure, you know, right. you know, you start knocking 40% off some yeah. of that shit. I'll, I'll, I'll pick it up, no problem. Absolutely no problem. I, I need to look at some storage. Stuff. I mean, to be fair, I was building a new PC the other week. Mm. And it's a, it's annoying when you're looking, at, especially storage options, and because I don't have um, an M.2 in this one. And Do you not? I thought you did when you... Nah, because I, oh. I'd already gone over budget, and then I was like, I'll, I'll just add one later down the line, and I and I haven't, and now I'm like, <laughs> well, I want to get a new one because I've had a lot of problems with this over the last few months. Um, so I was putting one together, and I'd put M.2 in just for Windows, and M.2 in for um, like just as stuff. So it was one terabyte for um, OS, and then whatever else I could put on it to minimize the their write speeds uh two terabyte one four games and davinci resolve and everything else um another two terabyte ssd and then i'd added um an elgato um oh my god i forgot it was but it's a capture card but it takes up a pci uh, e slot oh right and okay so then i wouldn't need the one i'm using now and that one sure. could take two inputs this one only takes one um, and I put everything together and it was reasonable price um, and then obviously you've been doing my garden so now I'm looking at it and going mm, it's a lot of money don't need that, <laughs> like, don't need that one <laughs> yeah. so it's t- I'll, I'll tell you now Dan you know we talked briefly about it the other day but I had someone come out to uh, quote me for my garden need a lot of work doing um, and they co- quoted me two grand I was like go on your fucking bike mate do one, <laughs> do it myself and then I was looking, I'm over three now. <laughs> oh. That I've done myself as well. So yeah. <laughs> it's like, mm. <laughs> I wish I just paid you someone just to do it back now. And let, let someone yeah. else do it. In, in, all fa- like, in all fairness, a grand of that is just my shed. So that I'm, I'd already gone half what I was quoted anyway, just just on that. Yeah. Um, and we got a load. Of, did, I, did I say picture my sofa that I got the other day? Oh. I, so I bought a. Um, like a, like an outside one, but uh, an outside corner sofa and coffee table. Um, sure. It was on sale, 150 quid. Okay. So I was walking past, uh, I did have got to get a plant pot. I was like, hmm. Just make sure you cover it. Oh yeah, I've already bought a cover for it and everything else. And Good. this fire pit as well. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> oh. Wasn't just there for the podcast. It's just here because I've got nowhere to put it at the moment because <laughs> it's pissing I was it down. Say, unless are we sponsored by a particular fire pit yeah, or something. Um, Atlanta adds warmth and atmosphere, Dan. But again, oh, well, that was yeah. that was down. They were seventy to fifty-five. Not bad. So I was like, cool. Um, so I've got that. So next, when you're next down, we're going to roast some marshmallows. Which that's absolutely fine. I also bought. So we bought big tubes of marshmallows <laughs> so we're raring to go um yeah 
it's too bad the weather isn't willing to play ball, though. I've time. been, with the exception of today, for the last seven days straight, I have done gardening. Like, some days all day, some days a couple hours here and there. Um, yeah, but yeah. I'm just dead. I'm Like I said, I'm, I might just bury myself in there. <laughs> <laughs> just leave it as is. Um, where was I going with that? Yeah, so because of my excessive spending lately, I'm going to hold off. This is, we've had touch wood, no main issues with this um, the last couple of weeks. But because I've been gardening, also I haven't been on it. <laughs> it could be that. Um, but yeah, it's, I, I think for stuff like that, if you if you can find a good deal, um, I, I do, I'm pretty sure, I don't think it was this last one you got. But you definitely did get um, some storage device on. I think it could have been Black Friday. It was. It was. It was, probably would have been. I don't because Western Digital do their own offers, mm. but it is mainly off RRP prices, which is still quite pricey. Yeah, um, I'm almost positive that I bought it off Amazon, and it would have been on some sort of discount. Um, so Black Friday makes the most sense, or yeah. a Cyber Monday maybe. Um, but for Amazon Prime, it might be worth us both maybe kind of just making a list mm. of just like, oh, well, I'm thinking about it. I need this. Oh, that'd be nice to have. Like not a like a, a needs, but like a you know a, a would buy for the right price. Yeah, kind if, of situation. If, if, if you had this and it was like like we, we said it was two hundred pound, but now it's ninety or eighty or something like that, then yeah, yeah. yeah well, I'll things like so like the the RAM for example, say yeah. like, like I say, I've upgraded the RAM, so I don't need any. But you give me the right offer, sure, I'll buy it. But something like another internal M.2 with a terabyte or two space, I'm at the point now where I'm just like, I should probably be looking for that regardless. Because like, like you say, like the OS and everything bigger. like that is installed on, um, it's on the, uh, the C drive, which is the M.2. But, you know, if I want to play Starfield, well, I have to play that off the M.2. Yeah. Um, and if I'm playing like Age of Empires, that's a very resource heavy thing. Um, that's installed on the M.2. And when I install Flight Simulator, well, that's got to be on the M.2. <laughs> and all of a sudden, it's just like, there's a gig and a half left yeah. because the, these games are, like you say, they're very big and they're very intensive. So something like an additional one that I can just pop straight in and then bang, there's all this additional storage space. The rest of them can just go in the bin and I don't need them anymore. The downside is, because it seems like it's a valuable thing for not just people like us, but... Uh, PC people in general, I don't reckon many M.2s will be going on sale. Well, you say that. Let's have a look right now and just see. Top of the list, M.2, what we got? So currently, oh, my name was a video. That's why it's coming up with something <laughs> German, which is not, not what I was after. Um, okay, so M.2, 2 terabyte SSD... Uh, yeah, internal SSD, mm. uh, one hundred and twenty four ninety nine. Is that down from RRP is one four nine? Yes, yeah, so it's like twenty quid. Yeah. Um, so there's a one terabyte M dot two. I mean, that's a seven thousand megabits per second read speed as well. Um, there's a Samsung M dot two SSD. PCI 4, 745, yeah, internal SSD gave me a video editing. That's 161 for 2 terabyte. Mm. So, something along those lines. But under the 100. If they went, yeah, if they went, it's 120. So, this Lexar one, it wouldn't be too bad, to be fair. That's It's also very highly rated. Um, That's the other thing you got to look out for. Mm. Um, 7,000 sequential I say that like you've never used Amazon before <laughs> I know, yeah. <laughs> um, but, but, so there's, there's, there's three capacity options actually so there are pricing options um, reviews are saying uh, 85% of 449 are five stars mm -hmm. uh, fast reliable good value fast good price exactly as described um, great price cloning stable while gaming yeah, so things like that look pretty solid. Yeah. Um, and that's 124.99 as it is. So if they went that 80 quid, yeah, yeah probably get it there and then. Yeah, yeah I, I kind of have to, but yeah. Th those are the kind of deals, though, where, like you say, if you could only go with 80 quid, even if I hadn't got any slots free, I'd probably buy it. 
just in case. Just, yeah, so you just got one, and then yeah, yeah. either you're upgrading or you decide to just have a proper clear out. And because and, to get to my free slot, I do need to move some things because there's a fan there. So, well, yeah, I mean, you know how much I had to faff around <laughs> yeah. to get my <laughs> GPU to fit in it. This why it's easy to go, nah, that's why I knew one. <laughs> <laughs> Oh fucking money bags now! It's just like ah oh, whatever, I'll pay it. I don't yeah. care. No, I do not condone that. <laughs> do it yourself. <laughs> um, but yeah, but those are the kind of deals where you look at it and go, "Ain't hey, it funny?" Like I love my um, uh, Razer Chroma. Could it's fucking cables stopping it from moving? But I love that controller, and I it was a choice between that or the Xbox Elite. And look at it, the, like Reddit uh, threads where. People have gone. I've gone through four controllers in two years, and I've gone through yeah, three yeah. controllers and stuff. It's like this seems to have the least amount of problems, and it was the same price. So I was like, I'll get that, and I really, really like it. But if on Prime Day or Black Friday, um, the the Elite Two goes on sale, I'll probably buy one. Don't need yeah. one, but every time it goes on sale, I always miss it. And we we talked about it before, but for the for the first Elite controller. Um, Amazon did a sale where it was 60 quid instead of 120. And I was like, I'll buy two because that's the price I would have yeah. paid for one. But before I'd even got to fucking check out here, they'd already fucking sold out. Like, motherfuckers. Yeah. Um, but also, the fact that it's on a, a Tuesday and a Wednesday as well, it's just really odd. That's why I like it though, because they say, like, no, no one's getting paid then. So, <laughs> no, but I, I can only think of that maybe that like Tuesdays and Wednesdays are like their their quietest days to arrange deliveries and things like that. So if they have a huge influx Maybe. of deliveries, yeah. they can prepare for it. Um, well, it might be the opposite. It might even be that that's, those two days are the days more people make purchases. Maybe, but I'd assume that most people would be getting Thursday, Friday purchases to be delivered on uh, Fridays and Saturdays. Or maybe even Sundays yeah. now. Some, yeah. some options do have Sunday delivery. Um, rather than midweek, because most people, if they're at work, will... You're not going to be at home, so unless you can get it delivered to work, which most people can't. Yeah, so if you if you work at, I mean, not to, again, <laughs> not to speak ill, but if people work at McDonald's, you're not going to get it delivered to to work, are you? <laughs> like, I don't know, unless unless they've got a really positive kind of, you're like, well, people are here, they need to have packages delivered and they can't have it delivered at I home. I suppose, yeah. Delivered here. I suppose. I mean, I, again, I'm, I'm fortunate enough where I'm at home or Zoe's at home. So yeah, yeah, yeah. it doesn't really matter what day I order stuff, but I do find that if I order something on Friday, like it's fine because it'll come tomorrow. Don't come till fucking yeah. Monday. <laughs> See, that's I think that's I think that's just a problem with where you live, though. Like, if you're not close to a, a major route or a depot or whatever, you're going to get fucked either way. Uh, to be fair, like uh, the last few things have been all right with Amazon, but we went for a we went for a phase where it was to start with. It, say sometimes the same day that i ordered it it would be delivered mm. depending on what it was but it's more annoying because the warehouse most of the stuff's coming from is like 20 minutes away from here it's only in rudely <laughs> like, it's like yeah i can pick it up if you yeah, want I, like, I, <laughs> that's what really annoyed me i remember when um gta 5 <laughs> uh, came out and my friend worked 2013. at eh? 2013 2013 it was the logo was aboard um and and my friend had, had bought it like obviously pre-ordered it as well and i put a picture up on facebook or instagram whatever we we're like hey I fucking, yeah and then he messaged me he's like i haven't had mine yet i pre-ordered it from amazon and i was like i ah, should hopefully be some point today he's like i might as well just pick it up from work like because he worked there <laughs> like, <laughs> like, mm. but um i think it came while he was at work it was delivered something stupid like that um but I don't see the point. I had the same problem with Cyberpunk. I pre-ordered Cyberpunk on... I got it for PC, but it was a physical box and you had like artwork and everything else. And a steel book, but no disc because it was a game code. <laughs> but I pre-ordered it and it didn't come till like late afternoon. Well, I'd expect the game code to be emailed to you. No. Nope. But all the, the nope. bits and pieces can just be delivered through the post. You, you know, Physical media. Yep. Uh, but, you know, the disc is kind of... When people are buying like the special editions or whatever, they're not buying it for a special disc that comes no. with it. The disc is going to be the same. It's all the cool all, stuff all the other bits. With it. So just do that as like a side box. That's not mm. even in a game case or whatever. It's just like a nice cool box. And just email the code and go. You can play the game whenever you want, and yeah. we'll post this to you. So if it takes five days for that to get to you, 
you don't get it, you're not going to give a shit because yeah. you've already got the game to play. I can't remember where I got it from, but I remember ringing them up because I I was of that impression I would get emailed the code, and I phoned them up the next day, explain. CD keys do that. Every fucker else, I'm pretty sure even Amazon do if you buy a digital game. <laughs> um, but I remember ringing them up. I'm sure it might have been very because they were the only ones doing that, oh, that steelbook version, right. and they yeah. were like, "You'll get it on. You'll get it of the morning of release." And I was like, oh, "Okay, fair enough." Day of release, still no fucking email. Rang them up, explained again. Um, and they're like, oh, you, you are on the delivery route for today. But I don't want it delivered. I mean, I do because I paid for it. But I, I want the code now. Just, can you ask the driver to just text just, me? Yeah, just shout it out on the phone. Um, Open it, text me, and I can do, <laughs> yeah. you know, they but, can do it tomorrow. I don't care. But it didn't. It, it was like 2 or 3 o'clock in the afternoon or something when it came. I was like, I could have just gone and bought it. Honestly, Today. <laughs> it's like it's the equivalent of them writing it on a post-it note, putting it in an envelope, and posting it to you. <laughs> it's fucking stupid. So, word of warning: I'm I'm 98 percent sure it's very. So, never ever yeah. pre-order a PC game through very. Because again, I've bought um, uh, there was a Fortnite pack. I can't remember who the character was for, but Logan wanted it, and it wasn't on CD keys. And the other, it was another site. It was G2A. It wasn't on there either. And the only place I could find it that wasn't eBay, and it was stupid money, was very. That got emailed immediately, like literally about 14 seconds after. <laughs> it's like, I bought PlayStation. You've been there when I've bought PlayStation, like PSN cards. Yeah. Um, again, might take five minutes or so, but you get a fucking email with the code and everything, because they don't post it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. It's like fucking stupid. Anyway, all that aside, hopefully there'll be some good solid state. Uh, SM.2s and stuff on uh, Prime there's Day. A, there's a few <laughs> things that would pique my interest, but I think it's more of a, a browse and see what's sort of like a deal that's too good to miss yeah. kind of situation. I think with the the, the amount well, of money... Well, to be fair, one of the days is Wednesday, Callum, so we could probably do a bit of browsing together, I reckon. That's a good idea, Dan. That's a very yeah. good idea. We'll have a look and maybe even buy some... But maybe we might even buy something, Dan. Maybe. Maybe. Um, do you know who needs money, Callum? Amazon. Amazon. They do. That's why they're increasing their Amazon um, adverts on, on Prime and whatnot. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure that when the boys is finished, I'll probably cancel it. I won't. I <laughs> no, can't. I don't, no, I need it's Amazon. It's too useful. <laughs> it's, a, it's annoying as to how useful it is. Um, I was watching something on YouTube yesterday and um, had a fucking advert that was like 30 seconds long and it was like counting down and then it got to skip. I pressed skip and it went to another fucking advert. Like, yeah. why sk- well, give me the option to skip? <laughs> hey, it. Well, I, I fucking I, hate I don't it. Like, I don't like the ones on YouTube because, like, you know, a lot of the time, as people probably know, it's I'm playing something on this screen and I'm watching yeah. something on this screen. So that can be, um, you know, YouTube videos. Some of them are like essays that are like an hour and a half long. Some of them are just sort of like clip videos or highlights or blooper reels or whatever the fuck it is. Um, sometimes I'm watching The Office or Star Trek or whatever. Yeah. And obviously, there's no way of turning off on Netflix. The, are you still there? Still there. Continue playing. Really annoying because I've got to tab out or press Windows and then click a button. First of all, problems. I know. <laughs> but it's just sort of like, stop disturbing me. Just play until I tell you to stop. How about you just let me just flick a setting on that just does that, yeah. all right? And there was... Um, I forgot what I was going to say. Adverts, YouTube, skip in. Oh, yeah, yeah. So... It, <laughs> Like a lot of the YouTube adverts are sort of like the fifteen seconds or whatever, and you just sort of again, it's it's easy to just let them play out, yeah. And then like it does like a timer thing, and then it uh, it just continues the video. Um, but some of them, it's like a twenty five minute video. <laughs> that's like an advert, it's just sort of like, and here's all this investment advice, and I'm just like, you're making me come out and skip it. <laughs> like, because someone instead of it just being sort of like a thirty second advert, instead. It's uh, it's like an entire documentary or presentation of somewhere, and you, you're forcing people to engage with it just to shut it off. Yeah, because that's because that's probably what because obviously the engagement is where the money comes from. So if you leave it, that that they don't that's get any they... interaction from it. So no, that's that's how they get money though. That's what that's what like I mean the, though. The uh, the channel it's on. Yeah. Money from that. So when you every time you click skip, it, that's going towards it. So mm. by like you say, they are forcing you to do it by putting these like ridiculously long adverts in, unless you skip. So yeah. 
it's smart and it's free so it's it's not the same problems as like prime and that where i'm paying for it so i shouldn't get adverts like that is very much a different matter yes. yeah um but yeah like it's, adverts and stuff in general are it's it's getting to the point again not to loop back around but it's it's cable and we're heading back to a, the reason people have gone digital and they pulled the cord and whatnot is to get away from terrestrial tv get away from adverts and everything else and we're just getting it anyway <laughs> yeah and but now we're paying for it well we didn't before <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, the BBC is just going to be sat there rubbing their hands and like, they'll come back to us eventually. No, no, no adverts over here. I only, yeah, but we have to pay a TV licence for the fucking BBC. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> uh, also, they're not capable of making incredibly good TV shows anyway, so... No, I, I watch... I've watched BBC the most this year, and that's only because of the football. That's literally uh, it. I, <laughs> I think I've only watched it this year because of Gladiators, so that's it. I don't even know Gladiators was back on. <laughs> oh, it's incredible. <laughs> it's, it's, it's genuine. Like, there was a, an attempt at a reboot of, like, yeah. a decade ago or whatever, but this is it's outstanding. Has it got it's any just... originals? No, no. Oh, I'd, I'd like to see that. <laughs> they were like 90. <laughs> uh, well, I think in the final, Jet was in the, um, oh, really? in the audience because they called him out and they were like, hey, it's Jet over there. Hey. <laughs> and he's just sort of like... Right. Yeah, yep, I've I'm moved in, on. I'm in the wrong studio. I thought this was the weakest league. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 65, <laughs> leave me alone. Uh, but like they've, they've changed a lot of the games, but like people were injured, like loads. Like, wow. like people were just getting absolutely shit kicked out of them. Because uh, it's sort of like, I'm an IT consultant from Gloucestershire. <laughs> and it, it's just sort of like, here's a guy who's six foot seven and he weighs, you know, 150 kilos <laughs> and he's pure muscle. And you're going to go on it. Honestly, like this guy is called Giant, right? You should see a picture of him. I'm going to send you one to him. Like, he's ridiculous. Um, I, I I did think you were going to say, like, because they've um, they've changed the <laughs> the way the games are. People are getting hurt. And it's more like Russell Crowe, Gladiator. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? So they got, like, lions and shit there. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, um, let me see if I can just copy image. Can I just paste that to you on Discord? You have to do it on uh, telly. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. Uh, everyone, I suggest you Google along. Google along. That's a big chap. He, look, he doesn't look real. No. He looks. That looks like he's been photoshopped into the into a picture. Yeah. Fucking hell. But he, like I say, he's like six foot seven or something as well. It looks so like it looks like big. a muscly what's it? <laughs> but the, the that that stick, like they're on the podium, like trying to batter each other with the stick. Like he goes on it only every now and then. Yeah, because it's no unfair. one stands a chance. Like someone, it's literally it was like three, two, one, smack, and they were off. <laughs> and that's not that's not a joke. It was just twat, and they were gone. It was like it was less than a second or something. It was ridiculous. Um. And it's like these poor people who are just sort of like, you know, I'm 53 and I'm, uh, you know, I'm just here for a laugh. <laughs> and it, it's like, I've been training for this. Since Broken birth. ribs. <laughs> like they're like Olympians and stuff like that. And they're just like, we're here to kill you. Um, it's honestly, they're like, they're, there's like actual prop, like some of them are just sort of like, oh yeah, they're a great contestant. You know, they really tried. I'm sorry I managed to, you know, do whatever. Um, and then there's a few of them who are sort of playing up to the, I'm the best in your shit house. So there's like actual characters and, you know, getting booed and yeah. that kind of shit. Um, there's this one guy, it's like a climbing wall which sort of goes like up straight and then like up at an angle God, and then you've yeah, got to climb yeah. up. And so you get like a 10 second head start and there's one of the guys who does it and he oh, con- contestant. flies up. No, the, oh, gladiator. one of the gladiators. He doesn't even use his feet. <laughs> he just goes like that and then he's just, he's on him and he just rips him off the wall. Fucking and hell. it's just sort of like, this is so unfair. Like, these are people that just sort of, you know, oh, I'm a part-time personal trainer and an IT, <laughs> whatever. And, oh, it's... I genuinely suggest I might give it, watch might it. Give it a go. Might give it's it a actually go. really funny. Um, ignore anything that's got Bradley Walsh and his son, who are the hosts. I don't, um, I don't mind Bradley Walsh. You will this time, oh. trust me. Because <laughs> it's just sort of like, hey, hey, Dad, here's a joke for you. And he's like, oh, son, no, it's, fuck that. I'm it's all, proper cringe. I already don't like it. <laughs> but skip past that part and just get to the events. And it's great. Honestly, it's really, it is actually like 
it looks like the people that are really trying to hurt each other. <laughs> it's really good. Have you seen the video with uh, Bradley Walsh for the uh, it was for the chase and it was the Fanny Schmeller video? Oh, do, yeah, do you course. remember that? Yeah, there was a video. I think it was last year with Michael McIntyre. Um, where oh, it might not be Michael McIntyre. Anyway. It's at Bradley Walsh's house, and they've got obviously his wife knows all about it and stuff. But he's in bed, and they wake him up, and he's just like, "What the fuck?" And then they talk about it, and then that gets brought up, and then he's like, "I've got a guess for you, Bradley." He's like, "No, <laughs> no," and then that is Fanny Schmeller, <laughs> <laughs> and she's just like stood in his bedroom talking to him. <laughs> and, like, like, Do you have any idea how many fucking tweets I get every day? <laughs> about that stupid video as soon as she, she walks in he's just like i'm so sorry <laughs> <laughs> it's quite it's quite a funny video <laughs> yeah no idea what it's from um uh, but yeah i might give that a go i don't remember i remember watching gladiators most saturdays but i don't I remember it time. loving yeah. it i remember liking it and i i even had toys of like wolf and stuff but yeah i met wolf really uh, sorry, no no sorry i didn't meet wolf i saw wolf in a drucker's Wow! Like the coffee me and my shop. mom were having, yeah, yeah, yeah. we were having a, a little coffee, and Wolf was in there with someone else, and we were like, "Oh my god, no way, it's Wolf!" <laughs> and one of the waitresses had gone over and said, "Like, oh, I know who you are. You, you know, I can have an autograph, or whatever." And he just pulled out like a headshot of himself, oh my and I was god. like, "Oh mate, come on!" <laughs> <laughs> I mean, to be fair, this was before my like mobile phones with was... cameras and stuff, wouldn't it? Oh yeah, that's very true. Yeah. Actually, yeah, um, I, yeah, I was. Yeah, easily sort of like, you know, 12, 11 or 12, whatever. Um, like five years ago. But, <laughs> yeah. but it, it, they were also like, they were celebrities at yeah. that point. Like, especially yeah. him, you know, who's a character, who's a prick and whatever. Um, and then there's a new, there's a new wolf, not called Wolf, he's called Venom. Ooh. And he doesn't, he doesn't say anything. And he's really aggressive and he gets in people's faces. And he has cheated and like stopped the game and been disqualified because he, again, to build the drama. Which yeah, is kind of yeah. But, you know, he'll throw his paddles down and just attack somebody. Um, and they'll go, right, you can't do that. You're right. What are you doing? <laughs> Fuck off. You can't just do that. Um, and he is sort of unarguably the worst. <laughs> like, he, can't, he can't be anyone at anything. He always loses. It's so funny. It's like Dick Dastardly. <laughs> no, honestly, he's perpetually fuming. And he's the worst of them all. It's amazing. As, but obviously, I assume it's written that way i i would assume i don't think so mate like him being you know silent and that, that's what i mean i like, just that's the character side of it but he can't perform outside of it it's not as if like like with this big fella he just sort of like he seems like you know it's like oh you know what well, you got up there and you, you tried your best i thought you were gonna have me there for a second so well done um <laughs> he's never once thought that though i, I bet <laughs> no like again he's this enormous like you could smack him for an hour that's what i mean shift him that's what i mean he's just like oh you nearly had me no you didn't don't fucking patronize me <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like i didn't stand a chance you're kidding give but, me a fucking br- a dead arm and let's just get it over with like. yeah but like i think like one of the gladiators is uh deaf as well i think one of the female gladiators ah. was deaf so they're trying to be a bit more inclusive with it as well um but yeah some of the women they're just ferocious like the size of them as well it's just crazy and they're like I'll give it a go. Honestly, it's actually watch. quite a good little lap. Like if you if you treat it like a, sort of like a WWE kind of like yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. pageantry and you know it's like pantomime drama almost. Yeah, um, yeah. But at the same time, you know, whilst it's all sort of like oh boo ah oh, you know, and then it's it's two quite big people clashing into each other very hard or yeah. falling from a really high height and landing on each other, and they're like yeah you, he's injured so he can't come back. Someone else is going to have to step in for him. Yeah, like that's pretty. That cool. happens. Uh, yeah, it like it feels to sort of like, oh, actually they they really clattered each other there. Are they all right? And like the medics are running in, and you just sort of like fucking hell, another one. Did you see? Um, there was a clip on. I think I saw it on Instagram. I know I did because I liked it. Um, and it's from Total Wipeout. It's the guy running across. He's got like the the. I couldn't call them sticks, but obviously not. But like single things with red tops, and they move when you jump on them. Anyway, oh, yeah. runs across them and falls off the last one. And then just using his hands, he manages to swing himself back around again. And it's like, there's like, I, I'm really, really fucking down, like selling it. There's so much strength just, just in his fucking, in his arms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a big chap anyway. And he holds on 
and he manages to bring himself back around and back on top and then finishes the thing and it's so impressive like yeah if i did that and i tried that i'd break my arm <laughs> you know, so like some of these uh like i was gonna say takeshi's castle but not so much that but like well it, no takeshi's castle is like the new series of takeshi's castle it's on like, amazon it's incredible it is genuinely hilarious um but there's 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 still the exact same sort of number of just sort of like oh uh, me and the wife of the kids have come to have a crack at it <laughs> yeah and they get eliminated immediately but now there's like you know there's like professional athletes and YouTubers and parkour experts and stuff like that that do, yeah. and some of them it's just like yeah your skills don't mean anything <laughs> when I like it against yeah. a big gigantic sponge triangle you you haven't trained for that mate <laughs> but some of them it's just like it's they just breeze past it like it's nothing it's like a Formula One driver doing a go kart track yeah they just sort of like up and down and they can just zip over it and they know exactly what they're doing yeah. um, but it's still completely and utterly unfair. Like there's, there's it's meant no to be though, isn't it? Anyone's, anyone's won it. Yeah, I don't think. I, I, I always found with stuff like Takeshi's Castle and, and Total Wipeout and stuff, like they're not, not impossibly so, but they're not designed to be won. They can be. It's, it is possible, just very unlikely. And yeah, the, the odds are very rigged against you. Yeah, and the whole yeah. point is to laugh at your expense. That's the, yeah. that's the whole point of of those type of shows. Um, yeah, that's why I mean they're fucking brilliant, and that's why I like them because they're really funny. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, but I, I, I was so glad because I was a really big wrestling fan uh, growing up, and I was so glad it is, is this is England's version of of Kinda. WWE and WWF yeah. and stuff. Um, and it was only when I got a little bit older and, and it's a bit more. I don't know. I, I I think it was just because I was so into like I, from from Hulk Hogan up to like Stone Cold uh, and even to a degree a bit of The Rock um, before real, I grew up and I was like what do you mean it's not real <laughs> like, mm. I saw Stone Cold get run over in the car park <laughs> <laughs> um, and, it, and it's I don't know like I do like the whole theatrics of it and how when you look at it it's really fucking silly but when you look at them as athletes it's like that's really impressive although yeah. I saw a video the other day of, of this wrestling uh, site that I follow. And it's <laughs> it was like, that time Hulk Hogan really let him have it. <laughs> He's got a fucking chair. And the guy's like, got his head out of the thing. And I don't know whether it, like Hogan just didn't think what he was doing. But he raises the chair of his head and he just goes, boom. <laughs> like that. And then walks up and the guy's like, on the floor like, ah! <laughs> it's like... I don't remember it being this bad. <laughs> like, yeah, it's quite silly, isn't it? <laughs> I, ba- I remember back in the days when I was really into wrestling, there was a wrestler called the Mountie, and he literally was just a Mountie. <laughs> Didn't have like a leotard or anything. He just had, he had the hat, he had the coat and the trousers. And I, do you remember, um, oh, what was the show? Due South. Oh, yeah. With, yeah. What's his name? Brendan... Um... Like Brendan Foster or something like something that. Something like that, yeah. But the uh, I used With the to... mount uh, the the husky or whatever he had. Yeah, I think it was a w- white wolf, wasn't it? Like domesticated I don't, wolf. I don't, I don't think it was a wolf. I'm pretty it's sure it's a wolf. A, it's just a big dog, wasn't it? I I'm standing by wolf. Due south. I used to love that show. Uh, Brenton Fraser. It is sorry. Brenton Fraser. Uh, that sounds too much like Brendan Fraser. That's probably why I've, in my brain it would have been uh, just I was like no no that's, that's not that's not right. Um, um. Oh yeah, Deaf White Wolf. Yeah yeah, I so could have sworn it was. No way. Um, Wait, why is there a link to Noel's help as party? <laughs> Oh, it's pulled from schedules with Noel's oh, right. House Party taking its slot. I was like, was there a Noel's House Party due south crossover that I'm not aware of? That would have been amazing. Mr. solving crimes with it. <laughs> but I, I used to really like Juice South, and I had the Mountie wrestler action <laughs> Sorry. figure. I could just see that um, fucking... It's like just an interrogation like the Dark Knight, and it's just like, you need to tell me who's done these murders. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> 
Yeah. Um, but yeah, that, that was it. I used to have a figure of the Mountie wrestler, and I used to pretend that he was the Mountie from Due South. And, <laughs> and my sister had um, the, like, I don't think it was my littlest pet shop, but she had a husky f- toy, and I used to use that as the as the wolf. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. Just, that was it. <laughs> There's no real great story behind that. Um, yeah. But, yeah, it's, I, I think I, I think I'll give... Um, Gladiators. Oh, speaking of Gladiators, there's a new Gladiator movie coming out then. Russell Crowe. Yeah, two. Yeah. Um, only 20 years later. I haven't watched the trailer yet, though. No. Um, I'm not particularly interested in it. It's not, it's not the kind of movie that mm. needs a sequel. Like You can make another Gladiator movie about Glad- Gladiators or the Romans or whatever. Yeah. But why do you need a sequel to something where the main character dies in it? It it seems to, it, it should be a sequel Spoilers. in yeah for, for fucking <laughs> Gladiator, but it should be a sequel in the sense of this is another film made by Ridley Scott. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Unless I'm, I'm just trying to think because like it's not as if like oh it's it's uh, Maximus's son who's coming back for revenge. No. no, he was killed and hanged and burnt, so he's definitely dead as well. Oh, I... the um, there's the. Wasn't the, the Commodus his nephew or something like the little lad? I honestly can't remember. I'll be. Do you remember there was honest. like his sister? He kept on trying to bang. Remember, her I remember the but, sister. Yeah, and I think she had a kid who liked Maximus. Because remember, like Commodus is fighting with him in the hallway, and he's like, "I'm Maximus, the greatest yes. gladiator in yes. the world, or whatever." Unless it's him, it there's no be. reason for it to be connected to it but at all. I've never watched. Gladiator and gone. Man, I wish there was another one. <laughs> like, and I don't, and I don't think that the film was made with the with intentions the of mind. making another one. And no. I, I mean, I want to see. I do actually want to see the trailer now that we're talking about it to be like, I, does this seem like it's justified its 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 own existence? I guess. I I'm going to treat this the same as Mad Max, where uh, uh, Furiosa. I, I stayed away from a lot of things, and I was just like. I'll wait and watch it in my own time because I don't think Mad Max, the the uh, Tom Hardy one, really warranted a sequel. I liked it. It finished. It was an excellent movie. Then I watched Furiosa, and it's good. It's very, very you good. Furiosa? Yeah. I haven't seen Furiosa. Have you not watched it yet? No. It's very good. But, again, even after watching it, I haven't gone, I'm really glad they made a sequel. Mm. It, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think you'll like it, but it's it, for me personally. Just forgetting all the all the old ones. It's Mad Max, Furiosa. Right. It's not worse. But it's not better, and I think it's unneeded. Right. But that's that's my opinion. Um, sure. It's very good though. It's very very good. It's just an unnecessary movie, but not in the same way that Solo was. Where Solo's wank and unnecessary. This is it really is fucking good. I just don't see why. Right, yeah. yeah. Um, well, have you, like, because you know, I watched all the new Kingdom, uh, sorry, not the Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes, the new um, Planet like, of the Dawn Apes. Rise yeah. War Planet of the Apes. Have you done the same thing with not, being on? Not yet. I have, I've got. The last one still to... Not the newest one. The last one of the older ones. Which one yeah, is that? Is so, that Rise? Uh, no, Rise is the second war. Is war. For war. The the so I, I haven't watched War yet, but I haven't, I've never actually seen War either. Have you not? No, I'd only it, watched the first two. Mm. Zoe, it, Zoe it is kind of great. It is kind of great. Yeah. Um, she loves it. I really do want to watch. Um, yeah, but... Honestly, I'm not. I think when's Deadpool out? Is that next week? Is it? No, the week after, I believe. Um, the yeah, twenty fifth. So not next Thursday, Thursday after, and I'll be there, baby. I'm pretty sure me and Rick are going to go and see Deadpool. Mm. No premiere day. Uh, so I think we're due to all go out on the nineteenth. Well, but that might be pushed back actually because we're gonna I have to because it's not out till the 25th. <laughs> no, I mean, uh, is I don't because Rob's already oh, going to you. see it with his missus. Um, 
what do, I can't remember what we bloody agreed now. Not this is relevant to anyone other than me. <laughs> um, uh, I just kind of want to know in my own brain as to what the fuck I'm doing. Well, why don't you push back the the date that you are going? Why don't you just push that to the 25th? Or the 26th? Well, again, I can't remember if that's what we are doing. No. Um, yeah, I, I know we haven't agreed a date yet. Me and Rick have just said we're going to go. Um, yeah, I think we're... 18th we're booked in to mm. go and do something <laughs> fuck me I'm useless at this stuff. I'm so sorry guys <laughs> they tell me things and like like they keep on saying like oh we're meeting at, at 7 like it's the same when we went to see Monkey Man the other month oh, we're meeting at um, we're meeting at um, the cinema at half or we're meeting at Nando's at half 7 and we'll go there afterwards and I got there and actually we're meeting at 8 but they told me half seven, so that it gave so me. So you got there. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I, with something like this, where it's supposed to be next week that we're going out and doing something, I kind of really need to reach out and just be like, what are we doing? Where is it? And <laughs> when do you want me there? Because I kind of need to know just ahead of time, maybe. Uh, but yeah, Deadpool, I'm going to go and I'm going to mm. go and see that. Like Furious, I didn't go and see it at the cinema. Um, Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes, I kind of do, but I'm always on, I'm always on the edge of. Ah, uh, this would be one that, that's not very good though. Yeah, and this isn't the one I want to go because it seems like this is more. This is moving towards the the sixties Planet of the Apes, the Charlton Heston Planet of the from Apes. From the gist that I've got from the the few clips that I've seen here and there, they're unavoidable. It's, it's, it's more futury, um, and yeah. like you know, they've well, they they do quite a good job of trying to bridge the gap between this new um, franchise. A uh, bunch of films. I like the old one. Not, yeah. not not to say that they're all canonical by any means. Also, um, did you know that Caesar's wife, um, Cornelia, Judy Greer? Yes, yes, I did know that. I, I didn't know that. I only knew that because of Corridor Crew. I, I only found out about it on Mr. Sunday Movies. Mm. They were showing some behind the scenes. Oh no, it might have been Mr. Might might have been Mr. Sunday Movies actually. Yeah, and I was yeah. just like, fucking no way. I didn't know that she was in She's in bloody everything. Yeah, I like Judy Crew. It's very good. I, I do like Have you Crew. watched uh, that thing I told you to watch on Disney Plus Reboot? It's got Judy Greer in it. Oh, isn't that with Key as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And Johnny Knoxville. Uh, no. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. He's really good, isn't he, to be fair, Jack Knoxville is. They're all good, eh? Right. Great, great cast. Really, really, really good. Good show. Yeah. Good first season. There is going to be a new season as well. So get it watched, Dan. Well, it's another thing to add onto the list. I guess, yeah, yeah, then, yeah. Um, but no, I, I think we'll leave it there, though. I, th- I don't know if you've got anything else you want to um, rattle off on. Do we to make, okay. do we to make a so. note for your plans for when you forget? <laughs> uh, no, it's fine. <laughs> um, there's there's probably one topic that um, the the entire nation is absolutely agog about at the moment, which is the uh, the Euros. A hundred percent. I watched. I did watch the semis yesterday, um, and you know I've obviously been playing a lot of FIFA. Um, I don't really I don't really care about football. I think what I'm trying to understand is is why do I play so much FIFA, but I don't like the game at all. Because it's a game. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the only difference is the fact that it's something that I have because like, I'm always just sort of like I, I keep correcting people and I know it's me just being a dick about it but when someone's like especially like my mate Kieran when he was talking about sitting he's like um, oh yeah so we were playing Hartlepool or whatever the other day and I was like no you weren't you were watching they were. <laughs> you're not managing it you're not playing it you don't own it it's not, there's no we right <laughs> <laughs> and I do it just to wind him up, but that really piss um, me off. <laughs> oh, it, it's every time as well. Um, but um, it's uh, it was it was he was trying to figure out it was like it, it's the, it's the sort of the collective like oh this is our team and we we do this and that's the side of it that I think that people enjoy the most is that it's their thing and it's yeah know, it's a collective. A yeah, but from the outside in, you're an idiot. You had nothing to do with it. You being there or watching or not part, of, like not buying a season ticket had no impact on the winning that day at all. Regardless of what you think, no, it didn't. <laughs> that I mean, that um, bit, it's hard to disagree. Um, I do think that there is a a sense of if you support, and I don't mean if you support Man United, if you support Fulham, or if you support Birmingham, whatever. I don't mean in that sense, but I mean if you are, if you give positive. Um, I don't want to use the term vibes because it's really shit. But 
instead of fucking booing and shouting of senators and stuff, support your team. That goes a long yeah. way. Like c- I, I can't c- deny that. Yeah, the, yeah there, is, there is, of course, there's a psychological component, but in the same way that voting is a is a mass sport, yeah. to a degree, you know, you as the individual don't matter. You're a part of the collective, and the collective is what makes the difference. Yeah. Um, but people think that they are the collective, but- and that, that you know, if they weren't there. That, or that you know that they know the internet and it's just like the, the <laughs> amount of nerdiness that needs to go into this sport that they watch every match they know every player they know who they're doing where they were 10 years ago it's that sort of stuff that i can stand back and just go you don't realize how much of a dork you actually are that's the worst like, thing cause it's, yeah because it's football we're down the pub it's all we talk about and it's like yeah but that's all you talk about <laughs> yeah that's, that's it that's the extent of everything but, that you do because you have to commit so much time because there's so much content there but that's no and different yet, to... if i wanted to talk about star trek and i have no nowhere near the level of in-depth knowledge about that show that would be like me going i know everything about the show every actor that's ever been in it every extra uh, all the people who have ever script wrote where they were like yeah. I, you need to, to, to have that same like comparable level of knowledge. And I would be definitely the, be the one who'd get bad in a car park for like, <laughs> what do you mean you know all the showrunners from 1982? Like, <laughs> You're forgetting Leslie Hart. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> I just it, made somebody up there. I don't know if yeah, that yeah. is. <laughs> um, it, it's, it's that side. It's just sort of like that's so normal. Yeah. And yet, for someone to know so much about Coronation Street or whatever, like that's odd, and that—that's the part of it I think that I just don't get. Yeah, but like the, um, like the, it, I think it's the patterns side of things of just sort of like making these sort of connections and it succeeding at the end. Um, that side of it I like. Mm. Um, but it's it's just it's all the. I'm sick of seeing videos of just like, oh, all these uh, England fans and all these Netherlands fans just start kicking the shit out of each other in Germany. Well done, guys. That's, well done. you never get around uh, the problem being that... But that, that's the thing, and it's yeah. just like, that's par for the cause that people are going for violence and, you know, they bring back the days of the gladiators. Who, who is Let someone go, I'll fight them yeah. and get them in the ring and get them beaten to death, a blood we, sport in front of everyone. Like, as someone like, like I've I brought up on football. I played football for many, many, many years, and I still I like football now. But I was never one for. We lost. Oh well. <laughs> it is. I really. I haven't lost all this money. However, yesterday Logan said, um, "I do you think we'll win?" I was like, "Stand a good, good chance." Um, and he says, "How many, how many goals do you think we'll score?" And I said, "I reckon we'll get two, right?" Mm. And. Um, uh, he was like about Netherlands, and uh, I said, I don't know, say one because we got to win. And then <laughs> he said, Who do you think is going to score? I think um, Bellingham is going to score. And I was going to say Bellingham, so I was like, Well, I won't say him now. I was like, Okay, I said two, so Kane and Saka. And then Kane scored the first one, and then Saka scored, but it was offside. I was like, Motherfucker, I wish yeah. I put some money on this. <laughs> and then we ended up winning. However, I saw a tweet earlier from yesterday at half eight, 18, 1839 p.m. yesterday that said um, his prediction was Netherlands one, England two, and the second goal for England will be in the ni- 90, 90th minute. <laughs> exactly well, what happened. That's, that's exactly right. <laughs> yeah. um, I do still feel, though, it should have been 1-1. One, one. Nah. That wasn't a penalty. I still stand by uh, again. Someone that played football for a long time. I, I'm. This is a very divided thing. His studs were up after Kane had already made connection with the ball. His studs shouldn't be up ever on any side of the pitch. But he was going for the ball, not the man. Yeah, but he, but he was because of how close they was. And I will. I'll stand by when it happened. I was just like, "Fucking hell, get up!" And it was only on the replay <laughs> that it was. You see, like. He comes up after, like Kane's already there, his foot's already there, well, that way, and then his studs come up afterwards and they collide. And I don't think, I mean, Dumfries is a twat and I, I hate him, but I, I could I could see the argument. You go, I mean, they collided rather than it was a forceful yes. thing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But yeah. on, I, I still can't, I'll, I'll send you the link if you missed it. There was uh, there was a corner for Netherlands. Dumfries has always been 
aggressive, and he's always played aggressive. Oh, is this when you're going to say this is when he pulled? Uh, I can't remember who it was. But he pulled one of the defenders to the ground before anything had even happened. Oh no, but that as well. But th- yeah. th- this one isn't. This was a different uh, Netherlands player. But right. Netherlands taking a corner. Declan Rice is in a fucking headlock. Oh yeah, I did see that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and that, that went on for the entire duration. Even after they kicked it, went off for a few seconds. Yeah, nothing happened. But it's the same on uh, Switzerland last week. Um, they, uh, they they very clearly fucking handballed it. Played on. Like <laughs> fuck off. <laughs> so yesterday, when a lot of people, like Gary Neville included, who's just like shouldn't have been a penalty. Him and Roy Keane having a fucking argument in the fucking box yeah. about it. And I, I I'll argue I'll argue with fucking Gary Neville. I give a shit. Studs were up. It's a, that, that's a foul anywhere else on the pitch. And if it was the other way around and Kane had done that, they'd have been like, that's a fucking foul. He had his fucking studs up there. But whatever. Um, where was I going with that? Don't know. Anyway. <laughs> um, Foden should have got both of his. That save by... That was Dumfries that saved on the line. That was yeah. fucking lucky as fuck, that was. That was a great That was lucky. That defending. second shot, though. Like oh, that yeah. absolute curl and just bonked off the, the corner. I was just but- like... Oh, Foden was on fire. That, mate. Yeah, yeah, he was. Like, I would have a crack. One of those will go in. Like, you just you've got the position, you've got the space, you take a crack because only one of those needs to pay off. Yeah, and it's it's huge rewards. Yeah, and that, that that's um, what they need though is they need the the confidence going in and that that knowledge of whether not getting complacent and it's still something to fight for. I think if they'd have gone two one up earlier they would have slacked off a little bit and they did slack off a lot in the second it's half. It's interesting. I did actually see an Instagram video yesterday. It was like just a couple of lads at like the local uh, uh, football pitch or whatever. Yeah. Just like, it was like one guy in a Spanish shirt and you've got an English shirt and he was just like, no, no, it's fine. Just score. Just score. And like, <laughs> no, no. What do you mean? Just score. It's like, no, no, just, just score. It's okay. It's like, no, it's a trap. I can't, we can't just, it's like, no, no, it's fine. Just score because we let you score first and then that gives us the motivation to come back and playing. <laughs> then we try and beat you from that, there. Like that's that, what's so happened. Go ahead, you, you do that first, and then that then we can start playing properly. Then yeah, and that's I mean I I'll, England I'll haven't what, though, played that, great. Um, Simmons, um, me and Kieran, him like it must be like FIFA twenty one or FIFA twenty two back in the day when we were playing that. We had him mm. as a player, and he was fucking exceptional. So as soon as like it's like because he had the same ish kind of haircut at the time as well. Yeah, and I was like. I think I recognised that dude. And Kieran was like, yeah, yeah, we, we've had him. And he was, because we had him as a youngster. And like, he absolutely just started to blow us away. Yeah. So it doesn't surprise me at all when I saw him as like on a national team. And when I saw that he'd scored as well. A lot of the stuff for... Because um... I started, I started the match about, it was eight minutes in. And I was like, fucking hell, they've already scored one. Are you kidding? Yeah. They say, they, they started off really well. And then... As soon as they scored, they got backed into a corner almost immediately. In, in, England were all over. I mean, for like they had like sixty three percent, like of, of the ball for for the most of the first half. But I, I'm never one of these. Then they're all over the fucking place, and it's like Southgate should be fucking sacked. He blah blah blah. He needs to do this. He needs to fucking do that. Fuck off. You don't know what you're talking about. You, you're flipping a beer mat in between fucking like each <laughs> half. You don't know what you're doing. Southgate clearly does. He's got us further than any other manager has, <laughs> right? Yeah. However, us? do you mean them? Them, sorry. They, they he's got them through. Um, but he needs I to. Bring, I won't let it stand. He he needs to bring Watkins and Palmer on to start matches. Don't just bring them on fucking seven minutes to the end every fucking time. It does my fucking Palmer, head we had as well. Um, Palmer's yeah, phenomenal. He was, he really he fucking Pat, is. We, we called him um, Patrick Palmer <laughs> because. Um, the first, I think it was just after we got him, it must have been like as a free agent or a cheap buy or something like that. Again, this is a few years ago. Um, I can't remember what his first name is, but he scored a hat trick in the first match we played. He was like, fucking hell, this guy's all right. Hatrick Palmer. And then Hatrick Palmer. Hatrick. PP, Patrick Palmer. <laughs> and now he's Patrick Palmer. I have literally no idea what his first name is. Um, but as soon as Palmer came on, I was like, Patrick Palmer, are you kidding? No way. It's not Calvin. Cole. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, he he was absolutely solid. Um, he's he's really solid. good, really good. But he's bringing yeah, him on too it. late. Every fucking match paid off in this case. Though, this is <laughs> this this is why whenever we're doing subs and stuff like that, we have to do it at like the sixty second minute. Get off! 
Hello, Beckett. Um, <laughs> she's climbing up my guitar case. Yeah. Um, but you start, you do that. You put the subs in at sixty-two, and then it'll take an extra ten minutes before it all goes out of play. Yeah, for them to actually be so able they to could do it. Because if you're doing it at the eightieth minute, well, it might take another ten minutes before you get a throw. Exactly, in or whatever, to exactly. Actually, bring them on, so you yeah. can sort of queue them up before you need them, I guess. So it's, the, I haven't got a lot of bad things to say about the. Anyway, the question I was going to say is. Oh yeah. They they won on Sunday. Yeah. Um, which was Saturday. was a good game, and then it got a bit boring, and then it got good again. No, it was Sunday. England. Uh, sorry, no. Um, it was Saturday no, and yesterday. On, <laughs> the, yeah, sorry, the match, match was on Wednesday. <laughs> the next one is on Sunday. Yeah, the, fi- say, the final. Sorry. Yeah. Um, are they going to win? No. Correct. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure that we were on the same page there. Don't get me um, wrong. They I, had a great, they had I a great want them to. I really well, want them to, but I don't think they will. Unless no. they, it's taken us till now. Like Bellingham and Saka don't seem to be gelling in in there. The problem is like because Bellingham's gone to um, fucking oh my god, who's who's Bellingham gone to now? Because he used to play for United. Now he's gone to Real Madrid, and he's the star of the show. And he's get he's got like four players setting him up every fucking game. Now he's not the star of the show. And I'm not. I'm not saying in the same way of like Ronaldo is, where it's all about me. It's all about me. He, but he's not getting the the setups that he's used to, and he, he just doesn't seem to be gelling. And when they do seem to gel, it's when they bring on Watkins and Palmer. <laughs> fucking sure. It's like just fucking bring him on. <laughs> Fuck Kane off. Because unless he's unless he's already there, and then he gets set up, and he can get his head on it. He's wank. Like yeah. it's better than me. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> but he's. It's annoying because he's only like 30, 31, I think Kane is. And then, I assume you've only watched England, but if you watched fucking Portugal and that the other day, um, and you've got like the likes of like fucking Pepe's 42, and he's fucking running rings around all of them. <laughs> and it's like, and then you look at an ours, and he's got his fucking inhaler, <laughs> fucking nebulizer. But like, uh, like I say, I like Kane, and he's obviously he's. he's I don't think he's taken over. Uh, I think I think I saw I heard one of them say as well. One of the commentators is like he's like the highest goal scorer. He scored the most in, in the most goals for for England across not in this comp like across England oh, matches like co- yeah. combined like I think he's on twenty two now with that penalty yesterday. Um, and he's he's a very good player, but he's he's got the skill, he's got the striking ability, but he doesn't have the pace, and you. This is fucking forward. He needs that fucking pace. Like with Sw- breakaway speeds. Yeah, like like last uh, with Switzerland on Saturday, Saka set him up like three or four times. And when you look at the replay, he just stood there, go, <laughs> like gay <laughs> legged. <laughs> but then you again, they're bringing Palmer on and Watkins and the, the fucking absolute whippets. They were on for like yeah, yeah. fucking seven minutes yesterday. Watkins scored. Like Palmer set him up and Watkins scored. It's it yeah. beautiful. So good. Anyway, we're not here to talk about fucking football, Dan. Um, so, yes, to answer your question, no, I don't think we will. Do I want us, Do I want them to win? Yes, 100%. Yeah. But we'll see how it goes. It's ultimately 50-50. They'll win or they'll lose. Yes, but they'll lose. <laughs> anyway, uh, we have nothing football-related in the store, Dan. Um, but you go to podcast versus player forward slash PVP store and you can look at all our um, new merchandise that is on there, including the best friends Deadpool and Wolverine t-shirt, which is available just in time for the movie uh, released on the 25th of July here in the UK and the 26th in America. So we get it a day before. <laughs> no, you look down and put them full. <laughs> oh, sorry. Um, but yeah, um, you can go to podcastwithplayer.com. You can look at all the other stuff we've done, including more podcasts, spoiler casts, uh, let's plays, reviews, loads and loads of things. It's all going along the bottom of the screen. Dan, see you on the next one. Yes, yes. We'll see you on the next one. Good luck, England. Yes, yes. Also, Spain. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. <laughs>